a lot of like personal finance mistakes happen because people don't know what they want to do with their lives. And it's usually a symptom of bigger issues. And I don't know, it's just something that I hope to be able to like influence people's life in a good way. And if, if I can give anyone any like tips here, I would say know what you want to do and understand the role of finances in that. For example, like if you have goals that you want to achieve, there's obviously financial impacts on, on you with achieving goals, whether it's a cost or whether it's a financial return at the end of your goals. Understand that implication on you and realize that finances is the tools you need and like make it work for you. The, like the details of that differs from one case to one case, but everyone needs to like have a detailed budget about their lives and know exactly what they're spending on and how much they're making and how much they're spending. And just like financial education in general is something that I want to be able to pass to people so they can do good with their lives and pass it on to others. So what financial practices do you do? Is it creating a budget sheet for uh, like the month of January, for example, we're in 2024 and probably a lot of people are looking at okay, you know, uh, maybe student loan payments resumed or maybe they're trying to buy a house and, you know, the house prices and interest rates are so high. How do I achieve these goals of either paying my student loans off or buying property, buying a car, buying whatever, right? Whether it's something, uh, a material need or even if they want to invest, if they say, okay, I hear that I want to put money into the stock market or I hear that you should put money in your savings account and save up, you know, six months pay in case you get laid off. What kind of practices do you do either on a monthly or semi monthly basis that keeps it, uh, keeps you on track? Financially? Yeah. So as obvious as this statement is going to sound, I think it's literally as simple as that. Personal finance is a mathematical equation of how much you make versus how much you spend. Right. And to do anything, with money, you have to make the money first. So realize how much money you make and what are all of the avenues available to you to generate money or more money. And like with that, I mean, starting your own business, uh, having side hustles, working with uh, people that can teach you skills that you can later on make into a money-making effort or anything like that. And then there's your livelihood and your expenses and the you know the spending piece of your personal finance i think all of that needs to be well documented and you have to know exactly what's going on with your life so a budget but a very detailed budget people think of a budget it's like oh here's a general category of you know i i i need five hundred dollars for eating out no but do you realize how often you're doing that? Do you know if you're meeting those numbers or if you're exceeding them every month? Are you tracking your performance relative to the budget, right? So I, I like, I could tell you to the penny with, with a little bit of margin, but like I could tell you very solid numbers on how much I spent on any given category last year. Like I actually tr track that, I know what I do, I track my performances against my goals. And then if I want to invest my money, I, I know that I have that margin. If I want to go out with it, I know I can do that. If I, it takes a lot of discipline to, to be successful with it. And that's why a lot of people maybe fall short is because they don't want to dedicate the effort and do the steps. So I would say doing a budget is absolutely necessary. Uh, Having goals for later on, it's like, okay, this year, I know I can make X, Y, Z. What do I need to do that? What do I need to get there? Establishing like objectives is, is something that people don't necessarily do and they just go on with their lives. Like, oh, I made this X amount of money this month. I'm going to live my life. I don't necessarily have an objective or a goal to let this money make more money or invest it in places. A lot of the things that you're saying, it sounds very simple to me and maybe to the viewers that oh okay just make sure that you're 
revenue exceeds your expenses, anything left over, try to invest that or plan to have investment as part of your expenses. Um, obviously, there are certain things that people are concerned about, such as inflation and wages not going up at the same time, housing prices increasing. Um, so obviously, investment is a big piece of uh, financial stability and growth. Would you say that investing is becoming more tough or is it still doable? If it is doable, then how does one in a specific avenue of financial predicament, how are they able to I invest? think I, I think it's actually becoming more of a necessity, right? Uh, the implications of the things you mentioned, such as inflation, for example, if you have money saved up and it's not being invested, it's losing value on on inflation basis alone, right? So the necessity of investing gets more important as inflation increases and as income, you know, if, if, you're, if your income is not keeping up with inflation, that means you should be looking for other sources to supplement the differences. And people have access to different investment opportunities. One of the most common ones is like a 401k or the just like a stock market. Uh, I encourage everybody to open up a brokerage account with any of the common broker, uh, brokerage services and throw some money in it, whatever you're able to do. Let that money grow. Don't also be reckless in right. the name of investment. Do your research, learn about it before you put any money in it, but eventually you should be investing your money. And if you're fortunate enough to have more resources and you can invest in more things, that opens a lot of doors for you. Real estate is, is usually good investments. Uh, you could invest in businesses and people. The, the ultimate point here is that you shouldn't let your money not do anything especially in times where it gets tough because you're losing value every day if it's not doing anything. And I'll tell you about my, myself. I want to eventually be able to have the freedom to say, you know what? I can do, I can make any decision I want about my life because finance is absolutely not a consideration. And you do not get to that point by saving alone. You have to invest and grow your money. So that's generally my advice to people is that when it gets tough, that's when you should realize the importance of investing. And I've been fortunate enough to invest in the stock market, invest in a couple of businesses with people and see fruitful results that I absolutely like share my experiences with people. And you know, we, you and I are actually in the process of starting a business together. And that effort is because we realize that there's opportunities for us to yield benefit to ourselves, given the current circumstances of what's going on around us without getting into kind of our idea or uh, maybe we'll give it a shout out later, I don't know. <laughs> but without talking too much about it, seize the opportunities around you and try to, there's no shame in wanting to have financial returns when it gets tough.